My name is Sam Ladestro. I'm 17 years old and I compete in teen NPC bodybuilding. I'd say there's always someone out there doing something that you're not. There's always someone out there working harder than you are right now. And so you have to keep pushing yourself to the point where you've convinced yourself that you are working harder than anyone else out there. And until you're at that point, you're always going to have the desire to work harder and if you put in all this work and then you still, let's say you place fourth, I mean, that, that just drives you even more. You, you have even more motivation to work harder and to be better. Um, I, I'm not sure exactly when he committed to the sport, but I knew he was interested in bodybuilding because I saw a posting on his Facebook that was something like this. So I thought, oh Lord, I think maybe Sam needs to channel a passion that he may have for bodybuilding. Playing football growing up, I was always one of the smallest kids on the team, which was really discouraging. So uh, my freshman year, I just decided to do something about it and it, I stuck with it. I, I was immediately hooked um, and just evolved from there. I'd say before, I was always one of the skinniest kids out there. You know, I was you know, six feet tall and 120 pounds. I was a stick. I had very little confidence. Um, really, I guess, and that kind of limited my, my social skills. Uh, and after kind of building up from that, I was a lot more comfortable around people. I was a lot more socially acceptable towards people. Um, and I just had a lot more confidence um, in everyday life. So yeah, it really, it really helped. Uh, my name is Brian Galusevich. Uh, I go to Mountain View High School. Um, I start on varsity football and bodybuild in my spare time with uh, Sam Ludestro. Sam's a really good friend of mine as well as my uh, training partner in the gym. Um, I've known him for a good amount of time now, I'd say about a year and a half. Um, I met him through bodybuilding.com, like we just like post on some forums and saw that he goes to the Y, so um, just hit him up through there, got his number, and um, we've been best friends since. I mean, definitely a confidence boost, you know, walking around knowing that I'm not the smallest guy at my school. And, uh, and the chicks, they dig the muscle. I feel like I'm pretty humble and I kind of shy away when people, you know, poke me or, you know, comment on my arms or something like that. Um, I really don't try to show off. I hit about a six month point where the progress was just so slow that I had enough and I decided to do something about it. And that's when progress really picked up. And then as progress picked up, so did my motivation. So I just kept pushing myself farther and farther. So yes, I'd say about six months in, I really hit a point where uh, I decided to step up my game. I don't know that he's changed. I think he's, um, he's gotten more intense in terms of his commitment to activities and sports. He's always been an athletic kid and he's always been very committed, whether it's football or lacrosse. Um, this, however, is a whole different ball game. It requires special diet, um, just the commitment to the exercise schedule, um, you know, body fat. Can't, there's just so much to it. It's a pretty technical sport. And so if he's changed, it's just that he's had to become more intense and more committed to what he's doing. It definitely gave me a confidence boost. Um, I wouldn't say it really gave me an ego, just a little bit. Um, dedication goes hand in hand with football, sticking with stuff. Um, if you're gonna commit, go 100% or don't do it at all, um, you know. You can be on one side of the street, you can be on the other side of the street, but if you're in the middle, you're gonna get hit by a car, so go hard or go home. Uh, I treated it as a hobby when I first started out. I just wanted to put on a little bit of weight, uh, be bigger on the football field, uh, but I started 
reading more about training and nutrition and supplementation. And I was just hooked. I loved everything about it. I loved the lifestyle. Um, and I, I love the results more than anything. I cook. I cook the meals, meals on wheels by mom. Um, again, the meals are so specific. It's like a certain, um, you know, eight ounces of a certain kind of fish with brown rice, with a vegetable. You have to really watch the oils, the fats. And this is, again, that was something I learned through working with my friend Heather. So I know that the meals have to be precise. And if that's one thing I can do for him, I'll do it. Um, I also um, underwrite his training. He has a great trainer. I helped him find his trainer, um, and it's the right guy for Sam. Um, you know, stuff like that is gym membership. It's just, it's, you can't put a price on his passion. It's something that anyone can do, but not a whole lot of people want to do. Anyone can pick up weights, anyone can eat healthy, but nobody has, well, not a lot of people have the desire or the motivation to do so and stick with it and actually see it through. Um, because not everyone can play basketball or not everyone can play soccer. Everyone can go to the gym and eat healthy and see results. But then again, not a whole lot of people want to put in the work. I tore my upper spinal erector, uh, which is in the middle of your back. Um, and I was out for almost six weeks. I just Everything hurt, hurt to walk, uh, hurt to laugh. Um, and then I injured, I actually tore a ligament uh, on the back of my neck snowboarding, so I can no longer uh, back squat. So I have to hold the bar in front of me instead of putting it across my shoulders. Uh, and I was out for almost a month after that, so yeah. My future plans are continue, you know, my lifting, um, trying to balance that with um, my studies. Um, hopefully get into a good college. Go Chico. Uh, my future plans, um, I'm entering a competition on October 6, 2012. Uh, I plan to compete throughout my senior year in high school and as well as college. It's stressful. Um, those last couple, two, three weeks leading up to a competition, you kind of just turn in towards yourself. You don't really want to talk to a whole lot of people. You're um, very low energy, you're conserving what little energy you do have because you've been eating so little and you've been trying to diet down. Uh, you're limiting your water intake. Um, and day of competition, you know, nothing replaces that feeling of finally getting up there. But all this, these months and months of preparation for just a few minutes on stage is, it's, it's kind of hectic. It can, it can take a toll, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chabot College, where tonight, Bodybuilding.com proudly presents the GNC NPC San Francisco Bodybuilding Men's Physique, Women's Physique, Bikini and Figure Championships. My name is Mike Stoley. It is a pleasure to be here with you tonight. Um, well, it's, it's kind of a foreign idea to most people. You know, you're, you're getting up on stage wearing a posing suit. You have painted your body, essentially, uh, kind of this tan gold color. Um, and then you just stand up there in front of a bunch of judges. Um, but essentially, there's two rounds. There's pre-judging, which is um, everyone compared uh, against each other. Uh, and then there's the night show when the top three uh, go up and compete against each other in each, in each class. Uh, and that's when the overall winner is decided at the night show. All right, our last teenager, here is Sam Ladestro.
right, let's have Ralph and Ivan and Sam come on back on stage. And someone over there has some awards. Yes. All right, Jennifer, here we go, dear. Third place, Ivan Rodriguez. Second place goes to Ralph Valamont and our winning, winning the teenage tonight, Sam Ledestro. Good job, Joe. I'm really, pr I'm, hmm. I'm really proud of him. Um, I don't view him differently. No matter what passion my son chooses, that's his choice, and I'll support it as long as it's healthy. <laughs> I just, I'm just so proud of him. I'm prouder of him than I've ever been. If you do want to do bodybuilding, you have to put 100% effort into the sport. It's not just going to the gym an hour a day. It's not just taking your protein. It's preparing your meals, eating on time, doing everything that is necessary to achieve the goals that you want to achieve. You can't, you can't put in 50% effort in, in any area. And that's, that's part of the reason why I love it. It's a sport that takes up 24 hours of your time every day. And our winning, winning the teenage tonight, Sam Ledestro.